Uh, we've been looking at the binomial theorem. The binomial theorem is great because it allows us to find specific terms in an expansion without having to write out the whole thing, right? Because imagine doing something like this, right? Um, not even algebraically, but even if we could use Pascal's triangle here, which we can, we'd have to go to the 18th row of Pascal's, write out all the coefficients, find the coefficient of x to the power 8, and that takes still quite a bit of time. So what does the binomial theorem say? It says that if I have some um, power here, I can write the general uh, term of this expansion, so any of the terms in this way, 18ck, and uh, I take my first term, that would be x to the power 18 minus k. Now the second term, it is a fraction there, that's okay, we'll work with that. It's 3 over x, and that's all to the power k, that's our general term. So I always say any time we're looking for um, a specific term or a coefficient, uh, then we'll write out the general term first and go from there. Now usually we can just choose a k value and say, well, um, if I want x to the power 8, um, I can try and find that here. The problem with this one is that both of these terms have uh, x. So that's a bit tricky because I can't just say, oh, here, we'll let uh, k equal to 10. Oh, sorry, yeah, k equal to 10. And then I'll do the same for here because when you actually multiply this out, that's not going to work out. You won't get x to the power 8 in that case. So what do we need to do? We need to have a think. What should I do in order to have a simpler expression so that I can see what value of k I need to get x to the power 8? Remember, these are just multiplied together. So I'm thinking back and right, okay, how can I bring these together? Well, if they had the same base, I could do that, but I don't right now. I've got 3 over x here. But then you want to think, hang on, if I have something on the denominator, What's another way you can write that? Well, you can write that as x to the power negative 1, right? So why don't I do that over here? This is 18ck, x to the power 18 minus k. Now, 3 over x. If you had 3 over x, well, that 3 is on the numerator, so that would just be 3x to the power negative 1. Only the x to the power negative 1 there. So I've got 3x to the power negative 1. This way, it becomes um, I can, uh, a lot easier to start uh, manipulating now because... If I take this expression and I say, well, when I have a, a power to a power, I multiply, right? But don't forget, you've still got this coefficient here. So if I want to uh, expand this out a bit, right, you still have to have 3 to the power k. Don't forget that one there. And that's going to be x to the power negative k. Now, this 3, that's just a, a coefficient. So I can actually bring that to the front. What I'm really interested in is these two, right? Because these two have the same base. I Remember, what's my goal? My goal is that I can get x to the power 8. If I can bring those x's together in one single expression, that's going to be far easier to manage. All right, so let's look at this. I've got x to the power 18 minus k multiplied by x to the power minus k. And remember, when I multiply two uh, terms, when I do that, I have to add the indices, right? But well, that would just be x to the power 18, well, minus k plus minus k, plus just negative 2k. So I can bring that all together, and I have this expression. Okay, right. See, now I have a single expression here, which I can now choose some k value to get x to the power 8. Um, what I often do is I'm, I'm just going to create a side equation just to make sure I get the value right. Right, because you're saying, for this power here, you want 18 minus 2k, you want that to equal to 8, right? because that's the power of x that you want. And then we can rearrange to solve this. Right? So I'll get 10 is equal to 2k, or k is equal to 5. So I'm choosing k equals to 5 in that sense. I couldn't see that over here immediately, right? but once I've done some rearrangement, that becomes uh, much more clearer to see. So I've got, I'm choosing k equal to 5, so let's let k equal to 5 here. Inside this general term, we've got 18c5. 2 to the power 5, x to the power 8, which is what I was looking for. Now, the question actually says, I always go back to the question, right? It actually says I'm looking for the coefficient. So I'm looking for the number in front of that. Well, the number in front of that, it's actually going to be this whole part here. Just like that, right? So my answer, and it's actually quite a large answer, so I'm happy for you to leave it in this uh, uh, combination notation with the powers there, but if you actually evaluate on your calculator, I think you get this. So the coefficient 
is 2,082,024. So that's the answer to this question. And that's how we can use the binomial theorem in order to find the coefficient of any term in any kind of expansion, no matter how difficult they are with their high powers or they've got you know, negatives or fractions or whatever they have. Always start off by writing the general term and then, um, then you can go from there and choose a k power that lets you find the coefficient.